I would want a student to look at these letters and try to understand all of the different concerns that Sarah and someone like Sarah was trying to piece together. That is, to see her as more than a, a one-dimensional person. We know her mostly as a labor leader, but she's clearly got a much more complicated life and a lot of other demands that were being made upon her. She's being drawn in other directions uh, with her interest in women's rights. She has demands that are being placed upon her by her family. And I think trying to understand those issues are important, not only for understanding an individual who's involved in in the movement, but also for understanding the way in which so many of these issues do overlap and, and intersect. We tend to treat them separately. We tend to talk about the labor movement or the women's rights movement, or actually in one of these other letters, uh, she brings up anti-slavery. And she brings, up, she brings it up in a way that I think is quite important. Some historians have alluded to this, but we don't, we don't have as many, uh, as many sort of direct comments on it as I would like. This is in the first le uh, letter from January 1st, 1846. And while she mentions that she's opposed to slavery, she is completely disgusted with the abolitionists because many of the factory owners are abolitionists, but they are not at all sympathetic to their, to their own operatives. Uh, I think the first question I would ask them to think about is, well, what is she really angry about here? Is she angry at slaves? Is she really secretly a racist? Is she angry at the abolitionists? If so, why? Mm -hmm. What sort of complications are, are being expressed here? Particularly because she starts off the letter by mentioning that when they started their labor reform association, she said they originally met in anti-slavery hall. So these are people who could have been in some ways comfortable with the anti-slavery movement. Now maybe anti-slavery hall was just a sort of general public building that people use for all sorts of things. But on the other hand, I think what I would encourage the student to think about is what precisely is her criticism here and, and why is she leveling that criticism? Mm -hmm.